Hey y'all, it's Nick for Undefeated Productions, and welcome back. And this is where we're talking about the trade that sent Todd Frazier and Robinson Chirinos to the New York Mets. My New York Mets, baby. We went out and acquired the Todd fraud, the Todd father himself. Before we get started, hit that like button and subscribe. I'm almost done with these videos. I have five, including this one, to record, and then I have seven, of, including this one, to edit up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Trust me, all these will be out sometime between today and tonight and tomorrow morning. Tomas Nita was put on the IL uh, recently, probably because he had Corona. But Robinson Trinos is being, you know, called in to replace him. This year, Trinos seeing 119, no home runs, two RBIs, hitting 367 OPS. Career-wise, career Trinos seeing 231, 85 home runs, 264 RBIs, hitting at a 758 OPS. Trinos last year with Houston hit 17 home runs, hit 238, 790 OPS. And overall was a great player. You know, 20, 17 home runs from Trinos. He had 17, 18, 17. Again, this year is massive, massive slump. But he is only signed. Uh, Trinos is signed uh, through the 2021 season. He has a team option for next year. So it's unknown if the Mets will pick it up. They most likely would decline it. But again, Wilson Ramos also has a team option after this year. So it'll be interesting to see what the Mets do with Torinos. Again, he's coming in to, you know, be the backup to Wilson Ramos, start every day. Maybe a change of scenery out of uh, Texas might do the trick for Torinos. Uh, if Torinos performs anything, he does have postseason experience. He was in the World Series with the Astros last year and overall could really help this Mets team out. The Mets also bring back former uh, high, uh, local kid Todd Frazier. This year, in 108 at-bats, Todd Frazier's hitting 241, two home runs, seven RBIs, and a 702, 702 OPS. Frazier in his career is hitting 243, uh, it's 216 home runs, 631 RBIs, hitting a 780, 768 OPS. Last year with New York, Frazier hit 240, 251 with 21 home runs, and a 772 OPS. So Todd Frazier, you know, the local kid, he was with the Mets last year. The Mets saw a lot of him last year. They decided they had enough of him, and they moved on from him in free agency, and it looks like they want him back again. So it'll be interesting to see, uh, get Frazier's energy back, see what that does to the Mets. He was kind of a big part, actually, towards the end of the last season in their post push for the postseasons. They're bringing him back, and they're going to try to uh, see what he can do for the team, if they can, if he can propel the team along with Robinson Chirinos. Overall, I want to know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. Did you know what happened here? I think the Mets, I think it's it's worth it getting these players back. You're, get, you're giving out two players to be named later. So, again, that's the iffy part. Are they going to be worth anything? You know, it'll be interesting to see. Texas dumps money. Overall, great trade both ends. Again, I don't know what y'all think. Comment section below. Hit the like and come back uh, later on where I'll be talking about the Miguel Casher trade Mets fans. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.